I'll very quickly go through the theory of integrated intelligence. How much time do we have left here? Keep going. Okay. Um, this is my theory of intelligence, which I developed based on my own personal experience of exploring the mind. Um, this is my definition. Um, it's the use of intuitive information from the extended mind, and the extended mind is mind that exists, exists not only in the individual head, but also extends out into society, into other realms, including spiritual realms. And it helps us make sense of life, it helps situate the human condition. And it's largely, this is a natural human intelligence that I've seen. It's perfectly natural to human beings. And I've actually um, identified seven core operations uh, of this particular theory, of particular intelligence. If you look at the idea of spiritual intelligence, it's often quite a vague term. They don't really, people don't normally uh, tell you too much about what you can do with it precisely. So I, I actually sat down and looked at all the experiences that I had and other people had, and I identified seven core operations. And these, most of these things can occur in the, in the left brain also, but when they're intuitive, they tend to be, uh, they tend to be immediate, non-linear, and they tend to have an affective or feeling component. That's the difference. I'm not going to explain all these today. Uh, I mean, you can follow up later on if you want. I can give you some um, uh, papers and things or books you can read if you want. Connection is when people uh, connect with another idea or thing or person. And uh, they get an intuitive sense of what that is. So they start to feel or connect with the person. The, the distance between known and, and the known collapses. Evaluation is when you, de you determine whether something is important or not important, good or bad. And it's an intuitive sense. Location is being able, this is, this is location as in the verb, being able to identify the location of something. Like, um, if you get a sense that you should go to this place to find a book, that would be a sense of location. Inspiration is, is getting ideas and, and creative inspiration um, through a stream of consciousness process normally. And many poets, musicians talk about that, they don't really know where their ideas come from. And a lot of people are quite specific about uh, spiritual guidance from spirit guides or angels or whatever. So that's part of inspiration. It doesn't necessarily involve a third person party though. It can be a connection with a place or a person uh, which can fill you in a spiritual sense. I use the term foresense rather than foresight because you know foresight has been used too much in future studies. It's just um, pre-sentiment or getting a feeling of something that's going to happen in the future. Oh, I should do this. If I go there, this will happen. So it's an intuitive sense of the future. Diagnosis is finding the cause of a problem, and intuitively. So rather than uh, diagnosing it in a linear or sequential form, uh, the understanding of what the cause of the problem is comes to you intuitively, you know, like in a burst. Aha! Uh -huh. This is what the problem is with the TV, and then uh, you go there. Not all diagnosis in this sense is because of integrated intelligence, but I think some is. Recognition is uh, is recognizing somebody or something or a book. Uh, without necessarily having any pre-knowledge of it. Um, Yogananda, for example, the Indian mystic, um, knew who his spiritual teacher was when he saw him on the street for the first time. And he fell to his knees. He just knew that this was his, his guru, the person he was going to work with for the rest of his life. And he did. That would be a case of recognition. Okay, so there are the uh, cooperation. There are also end states, wisdom and personal and social uh, transformation. So this is an example of a kind of a, um, an integrated intelligence experience. Let's see if you can um, work out which, uh, which cooperations or um, cognitive processes are involved in this one. Let's see, I'm going to read it to you, and then with your friends, see if you can um, identify uh, which process it might be. I'll, I'll, flip, I'll flip back to the other screen as soon as I finish. This comes from Carolyn Mace. She's a spiritual teacher and a uh, medical intuitive, and she was teaching one day when uh, when she had this experience. And she was writing a book um, called uh, The Anatomy of Spirit. She's a bit confused about it. She said, I was still frustrated that I had not yet found the core message of anatomy. That's a book. But as I was lecturing, I turned to write something on a white flip chart and instantly downloaded an image that merged the seven chakras of the East, the seven Christian sacraments, and the ten sefer of the tree of life from the Jewish Kabbalah. In less than a second, I received, I understood, I accepted, and I started the book over again. 
So, um, quickly with your friend, which of these processes or one do you think might have been involved in that? I'll give you 30 seconds to decide the difference. What do you think? Okay, I have to stop you there. We don't have a lot of time. Uh, so, what do you think? 